Mike Tedeschi, Portfolio Manager at Perspective Wealth Planning. Earnings season is well underway, and this is arguably the most important week of earnings seasons as we have many of the market leaders across all of the different economic sectors. This week, we are going to put out a video every morning, and we're going to take a look at the next day's really important key uh, companies that are reporting. Now, we're going to pay attention to some key levels, but we also want to pay attention to what these companies have to say in terms of their forward guidance. There's a lot of macroeconomic uncertainty out there, and we should get a lot more clarity after these names report this week. In this video, we're going to take a look at names uh, that are important on Tuesday. Now, guys, we can't go through every single one of them. We're just going to pick a couple across a number of different economic sectors to talk about. In this video, we're going to take a look at UPS, um, DR Horton, and Raytheon. And they report before the bell on Tuesday. And after the close, we have Microsoft, uh, Alphabet, known as Google, Visa, Enphase, and General Motors that we're going to take a look at in this video. So first and foremost, let's jump up and let's take a look at UPS. We've been talking a lot about the transports lately in our videos. And UPS is really at a key important zone here, right? We had that gap up from last April that held in September. And we're basically trading right in that zone right now. The bear case, of course, is this is a bear flag because we're in that downtrend here over the last couple of weeks. And a break below 180 would not be good for this chart. If UPS puts out earnings and can kind of get back above that 190 zone, it would put this support area behind it and would give us that kind of potential run back up to that 220 zone. What the company says in terms of forward guidance is going to be really important. I'd love to hear what's going on with one of the major transports here in the U.S. Next up, we're going to take a look at DR Horton. DR Horton is at a very important level. Now, we know interest rates have been rising, and that has been putting a lot of pressure on the home builders, and we have seen a big slide out of the home builders since the start of the year. Now, we're trading right back in an important zone. This is an area that was tested a bunch at the end of 2020, and it is where we kind of made that one last kind of stand there on 2021 before moving higher and continuing up. This is that 75 to about 65 level in on DR Horton. This also could be that potential bear flag. If we get earnings that do not look good and forward guidance that's not great and break underneath that 65 level, that would be a very telling sign. If we can hold and stay above 75, it would kind of negate that pattern and it would show that multi-year level of support holding, which would be a good sign. Now, Raytheon, next, we've got um, one of the defense contractors that's had a breakout to new all-time highs recently. It is now kind of testing that zone. The lines that we've got are that high from 2018, 2019, and then the beginning of 2020. We finally broke above that here, and we have been putting in higher lows. And so we're going to really watch this psychological round number of 100, and this support zone really does come all the way down to the, you know, the upper 90s, about 97. Uh, if Raytheon can hold above that 100 zone, that would be a very good sign for the company in the space and a break below 98 would be a bit of a concern because this would then look like that false breakout so that's what we're watching uh before the bell on tuesday now after the bell on tuesday we have microsoft which we always want to pay very close attention to market leader um good indicator of a lot of things for us it is trading at a very important level you can see this area of support here over the last year at that 270 every time we've come down into this zone we have seen that reversal the question of course is what happens this time a move underneath of 270 would be a concern this would then start to look a bit like a topping pattern the bear can sit here and point out this is a potential head and shoulders top and this is the neckline so a break underneath 270 would not be a good sign we really don't have another level of support until we get back to that 230 zone google had been trading in this nice um, <clears throat> range here really since last may we finally broke down last week below that zone so we really are watching, can Google get back up over that 2,500 level after earnings? If not, our next area of support comes in at that 2,100 level um, and then all the way back down to that 2,000 level. So if we've left this top range and we're actually going to be down in this next range, that next range really is from that 2,000 to 2,500 level. Um, and that would not necessarily be what the bulls want to see. So 2,500 is going to be the key on uh, Google that we are watching 
Visa, the chart is really just kind of a giant zone here for the last couple of years. It doesn't really have much of a trend either up and down. We're at the same price point we were at the beginning of 2020. We hadn't really moved that much higher or that much lower. It's kind of right in the middle of the range. What we really are looking for out of Visa is not necessarily what's on the chart, but more in terms of what they have to say about the consumers, the amount of credit card debt. Um, as prices have continued to increase with inflation, um, are American consumers racking up and getting towards those credit limits. Those are going to be things that we're paying attention to. The key levels on this chart are, are far away from current price. They're 180. A break below that would put us back towards um, that 2020 breakdown area, and a move back up over 240 would be a big breakout to the upside. Um, next, you want to take a look in at the solar space. End phase, which had been an absolute monster for a number of years, really has traded sideways for the most part. Um, it's a big range, but it hasn't really accomplished anything since uh, we look back to about the, the end of 2020. It's kind of trading right at that midpoint of this entire range that you can see right here. Um, the upper end of that's 220. The bottom zone of that's uh, 110. Uh, the last time they put out earnings this year, it was a beat. We saw a big pop up, but this space, since it's in that growth area of the market, has been underneath of a lot of pressure. We're going to want to see um, you know, what their forward guidance everything looks like. Uh, a move back above that 165 middle of the zone would kind of give you that target back up to 220. If that area can't hold, we would be looking back towards that support in at that 110 zone. And the last name that we want to take a look at in this video today is General Motors. Right, We saw a lot of those auto manufacturers having some really big moves um, last year and the year before as we started getting that transition into EV, and it got very exciting. Now, General Motors this year made a new all-time high and then has dropped down since that point, almost cut in half. There's a very important key support level in here at 38, and if we go back and look at the major price action zone over the last couple of years, we basically spent all of 2019 inside this zone. It's really from about that 38 down to about that 33 area. Um, so bulls definitely want to see us get back up above that, and if we get back up above that, that resistance zone that we've got overhead now from this breakdown is at about that 48 to 50 zone. So those are going to be the key levels that we are watching out of General Motors. We're going to be back tomorrow morning taking a look at some of the key earnings for Wednesday, breaking those levels out. Guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at mtedeski at perspectiveoffplaying.com or you can hit me up at 814-580-9881. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.